So after watching the first GTA 6 trailer like 500 times, yeah, I've been thinking about something and I haven't heard anyone talking about this, that's why I really wanted to make this video. But before we jump in, I got a question for you. Let me know if you're happy that the trailer was leaked early. And also, let me know down in the comments how you feel about GTA 6 leaks in general because I personally don't want the story to get leaked. Because GTA 6 is such a popular game, right? If the story gets leaked, people are just going to keep talking about it, bro. And it's almost impossible to avoid leaks for Grand Theft Auto 6 unless you avoid the internet completely. I'm okay with finding out about a few things when a game's coming out, right? I'm okay with finding out like how big the map's gonna be, a few things like that, right? But if the leaks just go overboard, right, and they become unavoidable to the point that they end up spoiling the story for me or even a part of the story, I'm gonna be so fucking angry, bro. To me personally, if the trailer gets leaked one day early, it's not that big of a difference or that big of a deal to me personally, but bro, it's really fucked up if you ask me. And obviously these leaks are coming out for all different reasons. Some people are getting paid to leak stuff, some people just leak stuff because they want clout. And it is what it is, there's nothing any of us can really do about that other than try to avoid leaks if we don't want to see them. And thinking back, I'm remembering when the first gameplay leaks came out, right? A ton of people were saying it all over the internet, on Reddit, anywhere you go, that the game looks like trash. And it got so wild, right, that devs from other games like God of War devs and just other developers came out and said oh there's no point judging the game right now because it's not even in the polishing phase yet and all of that if my memory serves me correctly so from this point onwards i'd kind of want the leaks to slow down like i just want rockstar to slowly roll out the game you get me like i want them to show the second trailer and the third trailer and just do whatever they want to do i don't want any more leaks to come out for me you get me or at least i'm gonna try and avoid them because it seems like the leaks are just getting more out of control the closer we get to the game's launch. But anyways, back to the trailer now. I noticed that the trailer mainly focused on Lucia for the most part, right? And if I was to judge the male protagonist based on this trailer, I mean, don't take it the wrong way. I don't plan to judge these characters until I play the full game and witness the full story. But if I'm just judging the male protagonist from this trailer alone, right? He doesn't seem like a very confident individual. He seems like he's taking the back seat. And if I was to make fun of him i'd say rockstar made him seem like a npc like he doesn't even seem like a gta 6 npc he seems more like a gta 5 npc and i'm not talking about based on visuals i'm just talking about how he doesn't seem full of life like all the other npcs we've seen in the rest of the trailer but like i said we hardly know anything about this guy but it's just based on what they've shown he also seems a little scared like he needs lucia to like to give him that strength and reinforce him so that he has the confidence to go kick off a door and rub a shop i mean i know i'm I might get hate for saying stuff like this but I don't really care you get me you let me know what you think about him based on this first trailer and based on the fact that they were talking about trust in the trailer right I feel like some shady business is gonna happen like one of them might sell out it could actually be that Lucia is just using him or maybe he's just using Lucia or it could also be that they just genuinely care about each other maybe she's the one dragging him to do all this stuff we don't know we're gonna have to wait and find out but I'm just thinking about all the possibilities and judging this based off of the first trailer who knows, maybe he's a simp, maybe he's just doing whatever he thinks is gonna please her. He could have good intentions as well. If you ask me, I think the predictable thing to happen with this story in terms of who would sell out, I think Lucia would sell out for money because you know, women just love money like that. I mean, everyone loves money, but women love money on a different level. But because the guy looks like an AI, right? He could be the one to sell out for money in the end, like if anyone ends up selling out. This is obviously not my final judgment about these characters, so please do not get it twisted. And what would make the story slap even harder if they were both double crossing each other like i don't know if you've ever seen that show uh, mr and mrs smith and based on previous rockstar games right and just how this trailer started off and just how the trailer is overall i don't see this being a happy ending where they just both ride off into the sunset with a bag of cash i don't think that's gonna happen chances are Lucia could even dump this guy before the end of the game and you end up playing as a different male character and I certainly don't think that they're both going to be riding off into the sunset with a truckload of cash. Most likely only one of them might make it out rich or one of them might end up dying, one of them might end up going to prison or they could both go to prison or they could both die and because there's such an emphasis on social media and influencers there's a chance that they could end up trying to make it big some other way like maybe they could end up getting bribed by the FIB you know how these stuff always end up bro you know this shit there's also the possibility that they could be on the run for a good portion of the game and they might have to end up committing more crimes 
even kill people who they didn't want to kill like just to try and avoid the police and stuff like that let me know what you think is likely to happen right here they're in an expensive car yeah and Lucia's in a nice looking dress so they might be on their way to a party or something like that and and i just feel like these two are gonna go all sorts of places like they're gonna probably end up in high society going to some rich parties and stuff like that they're probably also gonna mix up with some dark shit as well like like i'm telling you bro if human trafficking ain't in this game right in some form then they're obviously missing something because even in gta 5 in some random events you could pick up the hitchhikers and deliver them to those weirdos up in the woods you get me and get money for it and even in gta 3 there's like a mission called dead skunk in the trunk and that's like one of the most memorable missions to me in gta 3 because i played that mission as a kid right and i never forgot about that mission right you deliver the dead body to get crushed you get me but with gta 6 i want them to bring it to the next level hopefully they bring it to the next level like like human trafficking should be like a complete side business or a side hustle in the game like not just a random event not just one mission or a couple missions it should be like a business in the game and even in the online mode as well i mean transporting drugs is always fun right but come on man you gotta you gotta step it up if you can use npcs as hostages and stuff like that stick them up take their money you know stuff them in a trunk or any sort of shit like that bro the game's gonna be so fucking lit i was looking at this guy from the high rollers section from the trailer right and just based on how they presented him i feel like this guy is gonna definitely be giving us some missions to do like i feel like you're gonna end up working for this guy and based on the records in the truck he might have something to do with music as well i don't think he's big smoke son or anything crazy like that i also think he might be one of the main people to link you up with some of the races in particular maybe um races with the lowriders because we know that the off-road racing is going to be a whole different scene right or at least that's what i assume based on everything shown and when it comes to races right this links back to the male protagonist when it comes to races i don't think lucia is going to be the one doing the races like maybe you might have the choice to choose who you want to use in a race but if you notice most of the shots right the male protagonist is the one who's driving he's always the one in the driver's seat and it could also be that he has some special ability like how franklin has the ability to slow down time when he's driving a car in gta 5 the male protagonist in gta 6 like he's definitely the getaway driver so he's likely going to be the guy doing all the races i'm assuming that because he can drive well right he's the getaway driver he likely loves cars, you get me? He's probably like a real car nerd. So I don't see how it could go any other way. He has to be the person like doing most of the races. And with a deeper look at Lucia, right? I feel like she's gonna be the gunslinger. I think she's gonna be real sharp when it comes to shooting, like a real sharp shooter. And I feel like she gets wet whenever she gets her hands on a brand new gun and whenever she gets her hands on money as well. That's what I think. And she might actually be a low key psycho because I think that she's enjoying like living wild. I feel like she enjoys rubbing shops and stuff like that. That's just what I think based on this trailer and i'm emphasizing that because i don't want no one to get up and say oh this and that this and that you get me so i'm just making it clear that i'm just judging based on the trailer i'm still blown away by the fact that i'm blown away by this trailer as much as i am because i didn't expect it to shatter my mind like this like i mean i knew rockstar would deliver right they always deliver amazing shit but i didn't think the graphical leap would be this much as well like i just didn't think all the animations would be this smooth and like i just can't believe it bro especially what they're doing with the hair and it looks like there might even be some wind physics involved in this game like and the most surprising thing to me right is the fact that it looks this good and it's not even unreal engine 5 it's rockstar's own in-house engine the rage engine you get me if i didn't follow rockstar games as much as i did right i would have assumed that this was unreal engine 5 but this looks better than anything i've seen come out of unreal engine 5 bro i'm telling you that straight especially when it comes to the animations bro like i've just never seen anything like this i'm still in shock i mean i know unreal engine 5 has some really impressive stuff right but this bro nothing from unreal engine 5 has blew me away like this bro nothing at all not even the original matrix trailer nothing at all especially when you look at how populated some of the scenes are right this isn't just a showcase for some engine or it's not just a tech demo this is a full game bro this is a fucking amazing game that you're gonna be jumping into play bro well assuming that you don't die before it comes out or nothing crazy happens like this shit gets shut down or whatever because you never know bro and even after the hype dies down and this game gets stale right at some point in the distant future are games really gonna be on this level like are we gonna feel comfortable to 
put down GTA, right? Or just give it a rest and go play something else without missing that quality that Rockstar offers. That's what I'm here wondering, bro. That's why I believe it's gonna nuke the game industry, you get me? Because even when I jump into Red Dead Redemption 2, right? Sometimes I turn it on and I go play that shit for a little while. I go hunt some animals. And I'm still amazed by that game, bro. And it's running at 30 FPS on the PS5 at the time of recording, bro. 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 Bro.